Hey folks, Cool18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Sundog, The Frozen Legacy. One of my favorite games of all time, and it is Logan who helped to support an excellent cause over at the Extra Life Children's Charity. Uh, that is the reason I am playing this, so I'm very happy about that. We are going to make our way over to Wormed at this point, um, and the system, I think it's, or the planet I think is called Wared or something like that. Um, and we're gonna buy some illegal gear. Also did a little bit of checking. It looks like dexterity affects your ability to shoot, uh, both in ground, uh, combat as well as space combat. Speaking of ground combat, I want to equip my... I guess I can equip everything. Let's put the uh, burgers back in there. Those burgers do look good. We'll grab the stinger. Stinger's not the greatest weapon, but it does have unlimited shooting. Um, the scatter gun's a lot better. Uh, but I was checking, yeah, so dexterity helps with that. So higher dexterity on your character sheet from the start does make you a lot more lethal in combat. And you can, uh, there's uh, medicine like dex boost, for example, that will give you um, uh, temporary 100 dexterity. So you can use that to help you obliterate pirates. Um, and some systems will give you a bounty for killing them. Sometimes they have cargo that you can grab that way. So it's actually a fairly profitable way to do it if you don't wreck your whole ship every single time. Um, so, you know, it's something. <laughs> Alright. Sublight. So we're going to go over here. Now, I think this place here, Morad, yeah, this system here is so highly criminal that you can get attacked even when you have no cargo, which is kind of annoying. All right, nothing going on right now. I don't think there's anything for us to really, like, focus on. Did I leave anything in the, um, the cargo hold over here? No, we're good. And then over there, we're good with the spare parts and whatnot. Um, I could consider selling the, um, this extra control node. We might actually be able to make money doing that in the bar. I should try it, just to like demonstrate how you can do cool things like that. Because we're definitely going to be going to a bar um, to do our trading of illegal goods here on, on Warad. Dun, 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 dun. Tempted to hit the fast forward button, but I mean, I don't know. The, the drama of the landing is cool. By the way, whatever um, warp point you choose when you leave a system is also the warp, the warp point that you're going to have when you enter it. So you can um, plan your warp into a system to be as close to a planet as possible, which is important if you have cargo, for example. But yeah, this, this system is a very dangerous one to bring cargo in. If you want a fight, this is how you do it. If you want to fight pirates, grab some cargo, fly around here. You might even just be able to, like, leave a planet and then, um... Uh, just park in space. For all I know, pirates will still come after you. I don't know if that's true, but that would be interesting. Then you could just easily run back to the planet if you get yourself into some trouble. da 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 Okay, ETA... 2 slash 11 dash 03, so it's not entirely accurate. I mean, maybe that's the ETA for being on the surface as opposed to being in the city. All right, we are going to want to start by filling up our vehicle, uh, filling up our fuel tanks. We may also want to make a trip to the stock exchange to see if there's a cryo uh, pod over here on this planet. Love how, like, there's a bunch of smash buildings, the Atari symbol over there. Um, refuel ship. Okay, so the fuel prices aren't bad here either. Um, yeah, so let's make a stop. Oh, it could be that the gear, because that's a different kind of gear. There could be different look for things on different planets um, that's affecting things. I'm going to go get out of my car here. This is super risky on this planet. It's so highly criminal. Let's get in the bank. Withdraw all our cash. We're going to have a fair amount in our pocket. Might get attacked. Get in the car. Okay, oh. Stock exchange. You can't, your stock exchange can use the bank, so you don't have to carry that much money if you're just looking to do this. Um, I mean, again, we could take a look at some of these prices if we're taking notes on things. Ooh, herbs and spices, silly chicks, chips, chronographs, seem a little cheaper. I, I don't know. Anyway, uh, warehouse. Ah, cryogens. So I'm going to fetch the cryogens into my storage. So these are cryogenically frozen people um, that want to go to that colony. I'm going to guess that this thing is a bar. And that this thing is a repair shop. Yeah, that's definitely a repair shop. Come on, dude. You do have to wait your turn. I, it's like a little extra bit of whatever. Um, I am interested in purchasing... Oh, perfect. A Christmas tree. I will purchase a Christmas tree. 
Thank you. And yeah, you can see it doesn't sell all the parts. We're now going to run away from whoever that is. Now, some... Oops, I didn't mean to enter the car. Some of those encounters are not bad, but on this planet, I don't trust anything. Okay, good. This is a bar. So we can buy... We can buy beer and burgers here. Hello. But I would like information. I am looking to sell a control node. So we'll just wait in the booth. Do, 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 do. Oh, hello. Yes, I would like to sell a control node. You'll give me 3,000 bucks for it. I bought it for 1,700. I will accept. I could try and maybe discuss, get better prices, but I'm going to do that. So we could go and try to buy, sell our uh, J junk, but why would I do that? I need it for my ship. What I'm going to do is I would like to buy. Um, so yeah, we got different pills and things like this. What is this one? Uh, I don't want a neutral pack. Sorry, I don't know what they look like. Um, I want to buy. I think that's the cloaker. One of these is. A, I think that's the concentrator. This might be the ground scanner. Oh, that's the cloaker. See, I don't know nothing. I would like to buy a cloaker. Hello. Yes. <sighs> Discuss it. I will try to charm you. I will accept. It's still a fair bit of money. Uh, I'm going to go have to install this in my ship at this point. Um, even though this is a little risky, I'm just going to run to my ship directly. And what's great about this, check it out, because there's no car there, right? Look! Look! How amazing is that? Oh my god, that's great. So the shields are down here, right? Um, oh, I need to clear some inventory space. I'm going to get rid of the gun and keep the shield on. Go. Thank you. So we're going to get rid of the shunt, put in the Christmas tree. And then for the shields, I think we get rid of a flux moderate modulator? No. It might be the cryo then. I think it goes into the shield slots. There we go. Excellent. So now we can actually cloak if we want to. All right. But I still want a ground scanner. Just don't know what it looks like. Do do do. Oop, I don't want to bump into people. Probably robbing me. Or they'll think I'm robbing them. I want information on purchasing. So what is this one? That's the concentrator for more gunshot. Okay, let me let me get back to you. I actually want to buy the ground scanner. The last thing I expected to be the ground scanner. So, because just in case I don't have enough money for the ground scanner after the concentrator. 10,000? Do I even have 10,000? Because I could have checked the money there. I do, actually. I have exactly 10,000 on hand. I'm going to try this again. Information. Buy. I want a ground scanner. Let's see if we can get someone who will give me a better price. Because that's not going to leave me with enough money to, you know, do anything unless I want to go kill pirates. Uh, yes. No. Oh, my God. You know what? At this point, I'm just thinking I'm going to get a concentrator and try to blow up some pirates. Oh, come on, boot buddy. I want to buy a ground scanner. Watch the price just keep going up. All right, screw you. Oh, would I be interested in the charmer? Not really. Uh, let's see if we can buy a concentrator and go blow up some pirates. Oh, come on. These people are jerks. I mean, I might be just wearing up my welcome here. I want to buy uh, the concentrator. Apparently, I'd still need uh, a lot of decks. Oh, my God. No. All right. 
Uh, Nutri pack, nope. Yeah, sometimes they offer more stuff. Hmm. Well, that was very frustrating. I don't know, maybe I should try to buy something. I've got the one cryogen. So tell you what, this is an insane risk. I really shouldn't do that. I say maybe I should still buy something. I don't know what a good option is. Like that seems a lot for herbs and spices based on what I've seen. I think all of these are way too expensive, so I'm not gonna do that. I guess what we'll do is we'll, um... I mean, we still found the colony, so presumably if I get the ground scanner later, it's gonna be okay. I don't know if I get a reward for dropping off cryogens. I'm worried that I won't. Man, I need to make some cash. We're gonna preemptively set warp so it can start charging a little sooner. We're gonna go to new shoot. Haven't been there before. I know we already have cryogens, so we don't have as much space for things. Yeah, I'll set a new warp. Go to Jaunt. This way at least the warp engines won't completely decharge. Okay, they're actually charged as much as they need to, which is nice. Go to Sublight. We're just going to try to make it to the closest warp point here. We don't really care where we come in on the John system. It's so not as dangerous. Oh, again, we only got the cryogen, though, so we're probably fine. I think I'll make another run where I just go, like, full dex. 100, as many dex points as I can right from the start. And presumably that helps us blow up pirates. I'm not going to be able to talk to anyone down. But yeah, we'll just try to kill as many as possible. Grr. Hmm... Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to, like, make an actual... I'm going to have to make an actual list of all the prices I see everywhere. To at least get a sense, even if it changes from game to game, to at least get a sense of what is a good price and what's a bad price for these different things. Like, these games were not meant to, like, be played quickly, right? <laughs> they were hard. Clearly, uh, do warp. We're gonna be fine. So we'll end. We'll try to find Banville, which is our our primary quest advancement thing. And I think what'll happen is after that we've got to collect all the cryogens, and after that we've got to bring a lot of parts over to Banville, so that it can develop into a full colony. So there's a bunch of different phases, and that will include eventually going to that system that you can't reach until you get a special piece of equipment, which is super expensive. Mm-hmm. Da, 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 do. As far as I can tell, the grade for goods doesn't really make a difference. Other than, yeah, sort of set a base price. It doesn't look like buying a high grade versus a low grade is a better or worse way to make a profit. Other than, you know, buying a high grade means you've just got more money per slot in your ship. Which means later on when you got more money, it's better. Um, but it doesn't actually influence things. So again, we'll land here. I'm... I am ticked off that we couldn't get the ground scanner, but that's because we've done some pretty poor trading so far. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. I mean, I guess you probably do want to buy the highest grade. Maybe, actually, maybe it helps you to sell it um, at a better price. Maybe it does, actually. I don't know. We hadn't seen evidence of that yet, but it's entirely possible. And again, because you only ever have two trade slots, it probably makes sense to try to max them out. Dun, 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 Drive over here. Uh, we will refuel. Oh, although you know what? Oh, and I think there's a cryogen waiting for us here too, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this is a long trip, and we could get easily lost. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a bunch of burgers here. I could actually just store them in the little uh, our little vehicle, but I'll just carry them on me. That's going to be okay. The last thing we want to do is starve to death on our way to the colony. But yeah, let's take a look. I don't remember, again, where the stock exchange is on this planet, because why would I ever remember things? I feel like it was down here, like slightly out of the way, almost annoyingly so. 
clearly I was wrong about that. It's it's clear it's not close to our ship. Maybe I was wrong about ever visiting a stock exchange on this planet at all. There it is. We'll check the warehouse. Yeah, we got a cryogen here, so we're going to fetch this. So there we go. So we have two cryogens in the back of our ship. So we're going to leave. We're going to try to find Banville. We will have to drive back afterwards, though. But at least we'll have found it one time. I mean, I don't think that's avoidable. The first time you have to drive out and drive back. Do, 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 do. I don't know if there's, like, world maps that you can reference. I mean, there's a city over there, but I don't know if that's the one. Navigating's a little bit annoying. I don't know if we get a warning when we get too hungry, or if we're just going to suddenly die. I don't know, I'll do sort of, like, right-hand rule kind of things. Let me just check here. So time passes very quickly when we're doing the overland travel. There we go. Nourishment. Sleep. Come on, rest bar. Excellent. Dun, 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 dun. I guess if we do right hand rule, we might have a better chance of getting back without getting too lost as well. What am I saying? Of course I'm going to get lost. Alright, so there's a city there. I don't know which one it is. Grind, grind, grind. I love hearing the disc drive grind, grind, grind. I feel like it's probably not this. Can I find out where I am, actually? Yeah, I'm in the city of Dramming, so it's not this. Although I could probably buy more burgers there, if need be, for example, which is good to know. Watch me just die of hunger doing this. Well, that'd be a hell of a way to end this Let's Play. <laughs> this is a great game. I really do. Like, I know it's a big pain in the butt to set up, and but it is so worthwhile. Oh, apparently I fell asleep on my own. I wonder if the nourishment hits red if it um, automatically stops me as well. That might be the case. You can get Nutripacks, I think what they do is they give you like 100% nourishment. Like a burger doesn't quite max you out. Stop the you. There. Yeah, we might actually run out of food before we get this going, but we'll see what this city is. Maybe we can buy some more burgers here. Um, Take a quick look. Yeah. So it's not the one we're looking for. Now that looks probably more like a repair thing. Then a bar, to me, yeah, because it's sort of vaguely wrench-like. Check the bank here. Yeah, it's just a John bank, so um, the money is all shared. Yeah, it's a little risky to be just carrying all my money, but we're going to do it. Okay, i got to find a bar for some burgers. There might not be one. And it's, whoops, not any of those. I don't know how you make a game like this in, like... One meg of RAM, like I think the the disk image is like 600k. No processing speed. That might be a bar here. Certainly a building you can enter is what it looks like. So I'm gonna assume. Burger me up. Nope. I don't know what a beer does, other than be very enjoyable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I would like a burger. Thank you. I'd like another burger, which I'm going to eat immediately. And another one. I mean, they're pretty cheap. I don't suppose I can buy something cool here. No, just various pills. Like a dex boost. Yeah, we'll just leave. There's a, there's a fruit machine, a gambling machine, slot machine in the corner. But I'm pretty sure it's a mostly losing proposition, just like in real life. All right, so we're going to blow this town. Um, or so I thought. I guess I'll just go this way. Weirdly shaped town. There we go. 
Those disk drives used to be so loud, too. Just massive, like, machinery clunking away and moving. Um, we were doing right-hand rule, so we were kind of doing this, right? I think. Or did I already come this way? I feel like I might have. I have no idea anymore. So, yeah, I think that's what happened. I think I was actually doing left-hand rule, not right-hand rule. So, a little bit of unnecessary driving. And yeah, there's probably some place on the map where it's supposed to be. There might be, I, it might even be possible for me to, on the navigation map, I don't know if I can see where Banville is, but I might be able to see where all the other cities are and then, like, avoid those or something like that. I don't know. Spending days out here in the wilderness. Omp. Okay, let's go. Dodge some rocks, maybe. Maybe. Can I not get through here? There we go. Anything down here? Nope. Yeah, I don't know if the maps are fixed. Maybe they are. Maybe there's a really easy way to navigate to the other spot. In which case, well, that's a learning experience. I think it is reasonable to expect that you'll lose a few times. Of course, you can save your progress and keep going from there. Doubly so in the emulator with the, sa the memory states. One other city. It looks too big to me. Right, we're in Esposito. Let's have a little sleep here. And go. I think it'll look different in the map. I, I don't know for sure, but I kind of feel like it will. I really want to find it to end the Let's Play this way. Um. Oh, it's loading. Like, oh my god, what's going on? I can't move anymore. See the big numbers? Come on, Quill. This drives. I don't know if um, if Steam, like S-T-E-E-M, has a, uh, a fast disk drive mode. I know that uh, another emulator I was trying first does, but I was getting some crashes and hangs. Aha! I'm betting this is it. You see how it's tiny? Boom! Banville. That's where we're going. Excellent. So all it's got is a little set of houses here and a little stock exchange, but it's not a real stock exchange. This is the Banville Center. Phases remaining, nine. So we're going to deliver... Cryogens. And now we're going to deliver... What? Demand none. To be delivered. Cryogens. I have cryogens. I'm confused. You don't demand cryogens yet? Let me just store these for now. Let's take a look here. Um, how do I find my current mission state? I don't remember. Well, we've at least found the city. Now the question is, can I get back to my spaceship? I feel like we're just south of things here. Look at that. Eat you. So that just tells me that if I pop back in, I mean we still put we stored some crowd gens in the, in the the warehouse, so we still advance that. Or whether or not it advanced, we're still setting things up so that we can move forward. If I'm here and I check my compass, it just says surface. Okay, it's not actually helpful. I'd like coordinates, but it feels like the capital was just more or less straight north. Um, actually, that might be it there. I think it is. Oh, that was way close then. That was stupid close. So we just want to make a left across the sea here, somehow. Um, um, okay. Now I'm a little concerned, especially since I don't have any goddamn food. My last burger. Okay, there was another city there. That's good. Um, I should probably have gone shopping for burgers there. I'm probably going to starve to death out here now. 
feels like it came around this way from here. I mean, there's a city. I wonder if that's the capital. It's huge. I don't know why we're auto-saving. Did I just die? Oh, I entered the city limits. Or something. I don't know where. I think I just left. I must have entered it from the top. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to keep going. If we starve to death, that's fine. But, oh! It is. You know what? That is the capital city. Because I remember now, at the capital city, we saw another town across the way. So, Banville is southwest of there. The only question is, I don't know how to actually connect to there. Um, we may have just gone all the way around the world, is actually how we might have gotten there. But that is definitely the capital city. I think we're going to die. I could again. I could just stop into a city. Get myself a bunch of burgers. It's fine. You can get a pep pill as well that resets your sleep, so you don't have to spend as much time. There we go. We can hook around here. Yeah, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. There's the there's the city. There's where we're going. Come on. Oh! <laughs> Again, I could have stopped for a burger. It's fine. But there we go. So that's, you know, that's, I think we did a good coverage of most of the game features over here. It is a fun, challenging game. You're looking to upgrade your ship, survive pirate attacks while making some money, and eventually, ultimately, developing this colony. First, you have to deliver cryogens. Then they're going to start asking for other things so that they can continue to grow their colony and presumably have some sort of win condition. So thank you very much, Logan, for uh, supporting our great charity, the Extra Life uh, Charity Foundation. Um, and thank you very much for letting me choose one of my favorite games to play at, for your, your Let's Play. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed the series. I, I think this game is adorable. Um, and I'm really looking forward to a proper remake that, you know, a remake of this game as well. If you've got suggestions for games that are out there that might push all these buttons, Hey, I would super appreciate it. That would be fine and lovely. Um, I mean, I know there's some space trading games, you know, there's a few things, there's some space combat games. You've got things like, um, uh, you know, Everspace might hit some of those things. Uh, Elite Dangerous might hit some of those things, but yeah, suggestions always welcome. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.